Guys, it's your girl Jale Love, and I'm here with my boyfriend. Y'all call me Five Star, <laughs> and my sister Lee. All right, so today five star. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be playing a game called Let's Get Deep. Let's get deep. Mm -hmm. So, so it's a game asking a lot of different questions, and then yeah, we just gonna elaborate and get deep. Exactly. Get a little personal, and of course, we have been drinking. Shout out to the uh, vodka and cranberry. <laughs> vodka and cranberry. So we're already a little tipsy as so we're gonna start playing these questions. All right. Hey. So we're gonna start off with the deep because they have different, three different levels of so, icebreaker, deep, and deeper. Say hi, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> what's the question? What's the question? Um, All right. Okay. So we're gonna start on the deep part of the game. What is something that you enjoy today, but would have never gotten into if you, if we hadn't met? Huh? What? What is something you enjoy today, but would have never gotten into if we hadn't met? Okay, so can I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kind of switch this around. Something that I, I puff, but like, trees i have trees and that's something that i would have never gotten into if i would have never met this girl named taylor in high school mm -hmm. i would have never puffed trees no same i if i would have never met this girl named taylor in I, high school <laughs> so, my I, boy taylor <laughs> um i feel like i would have never been into cars if I never met the dealership, I feel like that's amazing. That was a good experience. I would have never really gotten into doing that if it wasn't for a right here. I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I do it. I mean, he made me realize what I truly love to do and which was design because I used because yeah, he has an eye for design and he brought that out of me and so i really appreciate that i appreciate that too that means a lot to me it means a lot to me next question <laughs> <laughs> if you had the option to be famous what would you take what what uh, would you take it why or why not hell yeah um, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I had the option to be famous, would I take it or not? And that's my brother. I've had a few. <laughs> um, I mean, I, like I would take uh, fame. I would take fame because I feel like I have a lot to offer for you know as underdogs out there. Because I feel like growing up, I wasn't what everyone thought that I would be now. Everyone really thought I was gonna be down and out, and I wasn't nothing. And, I feel like I'm a lot more than y'all thought. <laughs> so I feel like I have a lot to offer for females who feel that way. Cause like everybody is beautiful. Everybody feels or well, looks even the way, no matter how you look, you, they feel amazing. I feel like I have that voice to really express that everything that I went through to be able to help those women who are going through that same experience I went through. Okay, now, can you give a message to the women that are being bullied, that are being like shunned, that are being talked down on? Can you give them a message right now in high school who were in your, who are in your shoes right now, but where you are now, can you give them an encouraging word to help them through? Fuck what them hoes is talking about. Fuck everybody, okay? I'm sorry, but that part. Forget the Do you, forget Do you. They will be in <laughs> your DMs when you get on the trust in the for help and there's a good, the, like, forget all the haters right now. Forget everybody that's talking down about you because as soon as when you make it, those same people are going to be hitting you up. Constantly. Like, how did you do this? What did you do? you and do you to the fullest. That's all exactly. I say. And forget and what the haters are talking you. about. Don't try to be somebody else. Yeah, that person's authentic. authentic. You are authentic. You are unique. Yeah, be yourself, no matter what. Yeah, it's just that. Do you, mm -hmm. boo boo? 
<laughs> Alright, what's your answer? I was amazing. Um I would be famous. Because I give main character energy. <laughs> This is main stage. Right? The girl gets That's right. Like, if you know me, you know. Like, I give main character energy. Um, and I would give, I would be famous because, I would choose famous because, um, why the fuck not? <laughs> like, exactly. And then, honestly, like, I always wanted to be famous, like, since a kid, honestly, and always knew that I might not be famous right now, but. It's coming. It's coming one day. Mm -hmm. It's coming. So I picked the fame because I already got the fortune. So <laughs> you know, I agree. I, I would take the fame. Yeah. Um, I already got the <laughs> Shout out to that. It's different fame. You could be famous and be broke. But no, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, because it has been a lot of it has been a lot of times where I have been presented with like, oh, you I'm can make it. it. Yeah, but and it's like the and it's like, but fight. you have to do this exactly. And I'd be like, hold on, I've, yeah, I've had that. That's against my morals, exactly. Okay, so next part. All right, next, next part. part. Yes. Okay, would you rather? Lose I would just say watch the movie Hollywood because the movie Hollywood just honestly shows you a lot about what Hollywood honestly is, and I don't know if it's still on Netflix or not, mm -hmm. but it kind of shows you. And it was like a scene where one of the guys who was about to get a big part, and it was I think his name was like I don't know, I don't remember what his name was, but. He was gonna get a big part, and one of the directors told him like some. He was like, "Okay, you can get the part, but I need you to do this." So we don't want negative. We don't want too much negative stuff because we yeah. want a lot of different age groups. So watch more. Right. Just watch right. more of Jale's uh, Jale loves. Watch more of my content. But honestly, too. Hollywood is Hollywood. Like um, the movie. Like watch. But just, that's I don't what say we're just talking watch. about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. Let's get back to the game. Yeah. Get back to the game. <laughs> All right. So the next question is: Would you rather lose the ability to, to lie or believe everything you're told? Lose I will lose the ability to lie. lie or believe yeah. everything I'm told. I'd rather, I'd rather tell the truth twenty four seven. Because I've heard lies. Like, I mean, I understand there's lie. white lies, and you know, you try to be nice for a friend, you know, that they look, you know. Excuse me, ladies. Would you rather lose the ability to lie or believe everything you're told? I'd rather. I don't want to believe. I don't want to be the dummy. I'm not the dummy, and I can never be the dummy. I feel like so. I've been the dummy for. I was. Ooh, I was so gullible. I sometimes am, sometimes, but. To a certain extent, I I'd rather lose the ability to lie and just tell the truth twenty four seven than be completely dumb and because that's already of what someone tells me and believe true. what they say. Because you know you can get scammed out of that so quick. Facts. So I rather. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I would rather lose the ability to believe everything I'm told because, like, what? No, you would be a liar. No, it says lose the, the ability to lie or lose everything or believe everything you're told. Shut up. That ain't what it says. Would you rather lose the ability to lie or believe everything you're yes. told? Yes, so you stop I lying. Wouldn't... No more lying. Fuck that. Or believe everything I'm told? Yes. So it's either stop lying or believe everything you're told. I'm not believing everything I'm told. Okay, so everything stop I was lying. told okay. was a lie. Okay. So if I get rid of the lie, then I'm... I'm believing no, everything I'm told. That's not what the card says. That's what the it card, says. That's not what it says. It says, would you rather lose the ability to lie? That's you. Or believe everything you're told. Yes. We're talking to you. It's right. I wouldn't rather lose the ability. They're talking to you. I wouldn't, okay, well, they're talking to me. Yeah. Would Caleb rather lose the ability to lie or would Caleb believe everything he's told? Why would Caleb believe everything he's told? Okay, so you lose the ability to lie. So you cannot lie no more. Exactly. Exactly. That's one. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Be able to speak to animals or know all the language, foreign languages. Oh, no, other foreign languages. Because when somebody is in line talking shit about you and they're going, I want to know what the fuck you're saying. And then also, just in general, I want to know what people are saying. Just, I already speak a different language. Just for knowledge, yeah. why, knowledge reasons, I already speak a different language. 
Just to know, you know, what they say. That's right. Especially when, 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 when you travel. Forget the when animals. You to, when you get to travel, be able to know what you're speaking so you know, like, say you're in France. You I don't want to get French. I don't want to get kidnapped. That's just, that's, ooh, my so goodness. there's an, there's a, there's a, there's an earpiece, an AirPod called Babel. What if you don't have enough money? By Android. And you put it I in your ear. I have an Android. And you put it in your ear. I have an Android. And it translates. But I don't have an Android. You got an Apple phone too. But I don't have an Android. So do you, you have one? Wait, wait. wait. Like, I'd rather. Pause. Do you have Babel? No. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Wait, know. is you sponsored by Babel? <laughs> is that I'm what I'm trying to get some ads on this okay? <laughs> But since y'all don't want none, <laughs> okay. Hell no. Nah. Okay. I mean, I mean, hell. Uh, yeah, I would rather speak all the languages rather than speak to animals. I mean, actually, I would rather. He's trying to be like animals. Eliza Thornberry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Doctor Doolittle. Oh no, I feel like Eliza Thornberry because she was able to speak to animals. That was her gift. She was able to speak to animals. Both of y'all can go. She was able to speak to the monkey. The wild no, it was, it was the she animals. Was able to talk she to was able to talk to the animals. Right? Animal. Right? I'd rather speak to the animal and tell yeah. a bird, like, tear that bitch up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. tell wow. a bird, fuck that bitch up. Okay, let me ask you. Take the bird off the plate. Wait, wait, wait. 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 You, okay, I'm, I'm riding but animals right you, now. I, but are you around foreign people sometimes? Yeah. yeah. Okay then, there you go. So I what? don't really speak a foreign language. You know, I, I'm, I'm, around around, more, I'm around more foreign people I'm, than animals. I'm around so more dog, more animals than in dogs and cats. You and have birds. issues. I mean, okay, I, I, live, I work with animals. Wait, wait, we're all four choice, work. so he's, his choice is to speak for... To animals, okay, we foreign. We yeah. want to be foreign, okay? I don't care about... So it looks like you about to uh, get... What's that? Was that a stone? I can speak, I can speak to it. a lion. I can speak to a giraffe. I can tell an elephant I see what makes sense. what's going on. Uh, never mind. Just keep going. I can tell an elephant what's <laughs> going on. Now. No, because all my friends are sad. So next question. <laughs> next question, baby. Yeah, next question is, what song reminds you of your partner? Um... A song that remind me of you is We ain't gonna be around that track when talk to me like that cause it ain't no holla uh-huh. back girl It ain't no holla back girl I'm playing, what the hell? I'm playing. <laughs> It's Aaliyah Aaliyah rock the boat Cause that's me cause that's my brother name's Kalia So he reminds I mean, She reminds him of his sister Nigga no, no. <laughs> no. Her you all let you that her favorite artist is Aaliyah and Die Hard fan here. So you love me. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love you, yes. <laughs> and um, every Aaliyah Let's song every Aaliyah song reminds me of her because that's her favorite artist. If if Aaliyah was still around or if they have a really an Aaliyah Yay! hologram concert, I'm gonna have to take her to it because Okay. She's the number one Aaliyah fan. Die Hard fan. My cousin <coughs> actually used to do her hair. <gasps> yeah. Oh like the Tommy Hilfiger that she... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I know. I know. My yeah. mom was there too. Oh my God. Like, yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the song that reminds me of you is... <laughs> the thumbs up. I was going to say thumbs up. No, thumbs up. go. Because he loved that song, and I'm no, he loved song. that song. That's why <laughs> this thing is wild. But every weekend song, because he loves the weekend. So every time I hear the weekend play, the birds part two instantly. Birds part two. I just have that in my mind. childhood. For that's sure. why I like the weekend. It comes to my mind instantly. Facts. Okay, so mine is um, Rihanna and Future love song. Because it's how you feel it. I need some love and affection. Love. Did they not kill that shit? They did. All of them gave you the wrong impression. Because I need love and affection. Yes. Oh my God. Hey, say, but. So, love and affection by Future. Well, love by. I think it's called Love. Yeah. Yeah. By Future Rihanna. That reminds me of my significant other. That is a good song. Yeah. Because that's what I need. I need love and affection. Yeah. 
Touch me. Touch me. <laughs> Tease me. Please me. Shoot, when she said touch me, the first thing probably my mom was Omarion. Touch. <laughs> I don't even feel that. I think of Jenna Jackson, where she's like, touch me, please me, tease me. Oh, oh, that's, a, oh that's, that's, that's a good that's song. Too. That's what she said. Would you mind my uh, Jenna Jackson? Yeah. Would you mind? Yeah. Because would you? Okay. All right, next okay. one. Next one is. Deeper. Oh, well, deeper. Yeah. Deeper, deep. Oh, I'm deeper. Okay, I guess since we did a lot of deep, we should move to deeper so you can want to do deeper. No, do, do two more deep. Two more deep. Then okay. we'll go to deeper. Right. Can I, do a, can I pull a card? Shit. Okay, here. You pull a card for deep. That was complicated, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, I, right. I felt like I just wasn't answering the question. So he's going to do two more cards to deep correctly. and then she's going to move to deeper. Okay, shit. Yeah. Describe your favorite childhood vacation. Thirty oh, seconds. Okay, so my favorite is when me and my family used to go on cruises. We went on cruises every year up until I was in middle school, which is I wish to bring that back. I want to bring that back at least, hopefully next year. Time. Next next uh, person. That was more. Go ahead. Uh, no question. No, yes. One more time. Uh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> one more time. <laughs> okay, what was your no, time? No, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm saying the cards together. Okay, go ahead. What do you remember your most hold on? That's a wrong card. No, what do you what <laughs> do you remember most from your first date? He just changed first cards. date? Yep. That was not the okay. question. That was not the question. This is a that question. definitely wasn't. This is a question. <laughs> but okay, my first date with the current boyfriend that I'm actually with now, he took me to the movies. And back then, when we were kids, that's like not touching on a girl when we went to the movie theaters is like real big. Like, so he took me to the movies um, to see the Aaliyah movie. I was called like How Birds. Um, what the. They called it the Aaliyah movie, but it was the biopic. What was it? Because I know her, the one that was a real. It was like Pretty Bird, Free Bird, or some shit like that. That's not like Indy Irie. Next question. Okay, no, no. Okay, so look, no, pause. My boyfriend, his dad actually came to not even my house where I was staying at. Somebody else fucking house. Was like, I, was I had a rough ass childhood. He might not be able to say the same, but we're like siblings. So, the boyfriend that I'm currently with now, he was like, I want to take you on a date. And because of all the crazy ass shit that I was going through, I was like, I've never been on a date before. I was like 16 or some shit. So I was like, okay, bet. He took me on a date and he took me to the... Crenshaw Cinemark or Bowen Hills, whatever the fuck, I mean, whatever you call it. He took me there and watched the Leah movie. And then he bought me like any pretzels and some lemonade before. And I'm not gonna lie, it's like simple now. But it was the sweetest thing ever when you're like 16. Like, what? Like, you bought me like some pretzels? Next question. Boy, hush. Let her finish her. You bought me some pretzels and some lemonade. So I was like, I'm not gonna lie, the pretzels. <laughs> Oh, Question. It got me. It got you. And then he didn't try to touch on me because we were both in high school still at the time. And like every high schooler I know that went to the movies was like touching on their girlfriend or their date. Like, yeah, and I just wasn't that, that girl. Like, What's your favorite? I, I wasn't What's that girl. So hey. yeah, next he, question. Shut up. Yeah. Let her finish her. So birthday. he never. He didn't touch on me. He came. His his actually dad. He actually had his own car. But his dad had to drive it because he was too young to actually drive the car. So his dad had to drive like this orange Camaro to us and he had his little brother in the backseat. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first opened the door, I was like, oh my god. It's like three niggas in this car. I'm about to get they don't kidnap me. <laughs> but they did it. They dropped us off at the movie theater and it was so sweet. Like it was the sweetest experience I ever experienced in my Next life. Next question. <laughs> Oh he took me to the movie theaters. He bought me any pretzels, and he did not try to fill up my the JJ and woman parts. Next while we were question. At the, while we were at the movie theater, okay, okay, and so okay. I was okay. like, <laughs> I like you. Drive it in. Drive You're it the in. one. We get it. Last okay. question on the deep. Last question for here, for her. Um, <laughs> what's something you're weirdly good at? Yeah, it's I'm right. really good at putting my thumb, bending my thumb back. <laughs> what? Boring. You're boring. <laughs> that is weird. That's very much weird. Cause that's weird that you thought that was weird. <laughs> and um, 
Something that I'm weirdly good at. Shit. That too. Good at. I'm oddly, I feel like I'm weirdly good at my attention to detail. Like, I have a strong sense of like, when things are just not in order or like, not geometric, it just irks me. <gasps> That's OCD. So that's a weird thing that I'm good at. I'm a weird thing at designing things very well. Okay. What's yours? Wait, what's the question? Okay. Ah! I'm looking through the cards. I'm looking through the cards. So if I am thinking. Good. The question is this. The question again. The question is this. If you could compete on a game show, what would it You're be? You're lying! What was the question? Right. Said, if you could compete on a game show. What was the original question? If you could compete on a game That's show. That's not the question. You, what's I was listening to The Price is Right or, or Family Feud? Okay. My most weird ability is. Great. So now we're going to do the deeper portion and she's going to be saying some of the questions. No, I'm gonna pass out cards to each person that I feel like. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass you four, and I'm gonna pass him four, and he has to go one, two, three, four. Pass him Oh my gosh. Two, three, four. Why I gotta do this? Yours. We all do it. Why are you making me do this? I'm gonna pick five. Cause we playing this game so together. Go. Now, you go first then. These are good questions. Oh. Uh, so go questions. Well, who will first? I just told you. Who who was, leave I'll go first. first. I'll go first. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so the first question is I'm here for it. This is not kid friendly. Yes, it's not. I don't put it for kid for kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you be open to watching porn together? Why or why not? Mine is no because I'm into some erotic ass shit. That I know my boyfriend is gonna be like What? <laughs> he's, gonna be, he's gonna look at me so different so i'm not gonna lie to you like no i would not share my point um what i like is point i would not i'll keep it to myself what about you i would actually be open to it because i actually want to learn some shit and i can do it i mean i would actually want to learn and do some, uh, you know, some different I've been stuff. I porn, and then also mine is no. I'm sorry, not to interrupt you, but mine is no because I've been watching porn since elementary, and I know it's bad, but I did not get put onto porn. Somebody else put me onto it. It was another <laughs> classmate. She came. I feel to like school. when you're younger, a lot of what a side kid. kid she you're at school, you learn a lot of stuff. Yeah, I did. It was a lot kid. of other kids just be telling you stuff, and so I'm like showing you stuff. So it's like I feel like other people was like here, and I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of uh, cause back well not back in all days but like uh, our generation yeah we were but now yeah they strict on everything now yeah so cause I'm into some wild ass shit wow wow real wild don't talk with your mouth <laughs> <laughs> okay so the question is when he got it when he did an answer would you be open to watching point together why or why not yeah because you go arm some things. The fuck and I want to learn. That's all I the, just what the fuck do you need to learn? <laughs> I, I, just, learn I just feel like the things that is happening in porn could be good. You fucking like retarded. You just talk so slow. Yeah, right. I think uh -uh, that's okay. it. I think Next that's my, question. That's my Next answer. question. Yeah. Okay, he over eating. Um, no, you you don't want to eat. You don't want to eat. I eat talk. Oh, do you want mine? Yeah, do you want yours? Because I have five. You see, you What's yours. an insecurity you didn't usually share with other people? Because we're gonna eat. Um, be real. I used to be ugly. No, 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 no. It's her oh. turn. Whoever um, calls, whoever calls their card out, they have to share it first. Okay. I had extremely low self-esteem growing up, and I feel like for a while I still have it, especially after having my kids. I still have a little bit of low self-esteem. I have to remind myself every day of who I am. 
That's real. So I have to remind myself every day of who I am and build myself up every day. Because when you become a mom, you kind of forget who you are. And so to really build myself up to a completely new, different person is amazing to me because I feel like I'm not the same person that I was three years ago before having my son. And to now, I feel like I did a, made a huge growth. Okay. Um, I personally... You gotta answer my question. <laughs> I you have to answer, answer, yeah, answer my question. What's your uh, what's an insecurity you don't usually share with other people with others? Yeah. Um, I feel like a, an insecurity today. Yeah. Um, not tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I feel like when I was like younger, I used to be like called a doodle -doo daddy. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to laugh at that. <laughs> And like, they used to really talk about me bad. <laughs> that bad. Bad. She got to go, the go, bad. bad. <laughs> she hurt my feelings. And sometimes I go to sleep at night hearing them voices in my ear. The fact that you laugh at this is really bad, but I know at the time it was horrible. At least you know, see, that's that's a huge growth. If you're able to laugh at the past of that hurt you, that means you grew from it. That really means you grew from that hurt. Because he wouldn't be five star today if he didn't grow from you being called Doodle Daddy. Okay? From Doodle -doo Daddy to five star. Doodle -doo. Doo -doo Daddy to five star. That's a big ass gift. Cause you went from shit to shit. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> hey, okay. Okay. <coughs> my biggest is security. The ghetto. Um, <laughs> okay, I feel like I have two. I guess I have two. <laughs> he didn't have to get up and walk away. Exactly. <laughs> So, so I can share too. No, okay. so I can share too. Um, one of mine as a kid. So I do like one as a kid and one as an adult. Okay. So one as a kid that I used to have is um, I was um burned as a kid. Um, but like by bath water. So like my from like my waist down, I'm like two toned. And I used to hate that as a kid. So I never used to wear skirts or shorts or anything because the back of my legs, people would be like, oh, you're dirty. And I'd be like, no. Like, mm -hmm. I was burned by, like, hot water. So, like, that used to be a big insecurity of mine um, because people used to be like, oh, you look dirty. And I'd be like, no, like, I got a second-degree burn. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, I could have drowned in that water. I could have died. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. True. What is a, an adult that I have? I just don't really have any, but after motherhood, motherhood just, motherhood is ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> my chi-chis have dropped. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. I, know that's, I know that that's my brother. Yes. yes. But, oh my, but no, my, my chi-chis have dropped. Yes. They're not the little perky things that they used to be. They're not like super saggy, but they're not what they could be. They're not what they used to be. <laughs> No, I'm 100%. So I constantly keep it broad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I 100% agree. Yeah. God. Come on, shirts. Um, or, or it's my turn. No, it's his turn. But he got up and went to go get a phone. Somebody wanted All right, to so it. it's his turn to ask a question. Got it. What is your favorite kind of foreplay? Before they put the wee wee in. <laughs> Why you do that? Okay, what's your favorite kind of foreplay? Oh, it's your turn. You post it since you asked the question. That's him first. My favorite kind of foreplay is like uh, this is awkward. Um, my favorite kind of foreplay is like looking cute. Like at least look cute. Like I want to admire. So you like outfits or some shit? I'm into outfits. That's my favorite type of. Oh, you like dress up? It's yeah. like outfits. Sure fit. 
You know, it's like, <laughs> just because, like, I want to be what, able to, like, really. No, he really plays really sports, so go get your little cheerleader fit. That's going to be number one. Okay, like, he plays sports, so go get your cheerleader fit. I'm outfits. telling you right now. Outfits. Outfits. <laughs> Girl, don't put that motherfucking back If you need another one, I got one. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Mm, you two, man. Okay. What's y'all? Um, why is it? Like, he just went. Oh, okay. Wait, he just wants to. It's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. What's the. Uh, what? Okay. One more to talk. It's her turn to get the question. Okay, what's the question? Okay. Name one physical trait and one non physical trait that you like about your partner. Oh, well, funny. So, one physical and one non physical. Yeah. All right. You go first, obviously, since you answered the question. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, ask the question. Yeah, that's no, a, yeah, yeah. Whenever they ask the question, one physical trait that I like about my boyfriend is that he's super chocolate. <laughs> I'm in love with that. No, for real, I'm in love with that. I love dark men because I don't have no dark. Like that's just like it's boring to me. So I love the chocolate. Like he's like so black. Like mm, I love it. I love it. Non physical. Right. He's smarter than me. Like, I can honestly admit that. Mm. He's so smart. Like, I'd be like, babe, how do you, like, the internet's not working. What do I do? He'd be like, unplug it, restart it. Da, da, da. Like, <laughs> I know you'd be having I thought you were going to, like, ask him what shit you would ask Google. No. But, no. damn, plug and unplug. All right. Yeah. He's like, did you press the button? Did you restart no, it? No, I just play. Ooh, he's so smart. You're so smart. I understand. Like Damn. you sometimes you have brain hurts yes. and you like right. when you doing something heavy. I'm not that. I'm not. That's not me. Like I'm not tech savvy. Like my boyfriend it's, is. See exactly. He so it's like, like it it's understandable. Not everyone that. does something easy because <laughs> someone knows. <coughs> okay. Um, okay. Physical okay. and non-physical trait. Physical, I love that you're gorgeous. Non-physical. I love that you're an artist, and that's yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you're that's an artist. It. That's, <laughs> another, that's that's that. We're gonna leave it there. Next, okay. So that's boring, but <laughs> okay. So Works. physical trait, <laughs> physical trait. I really love his hair because, like oh. me, I'm really because, yeah, uh, like, ever since I went on to my natural hair journey, I I literally love his hair texture, like. At his freaking <laughs> and uh, non physical, <laughs> non physical thing. This man yeah. is literally, I, I, when she says smart, he is, he is smart for 100% than me. It's like, I mean, it's the most simplest things that, of course, that us females, Spit it out. <laughs> us females should know. He already knows. It's like when it comes to credit, when it comes to owning your own business, this man knows the ins and outs of owning your own business. Sorry. Okay, not owning your own business, I'm playing. I'm but playing. being a barber, <laughs> being a barber and knowing the uh, <laughs> having a business mindset, having a business mindset, oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. No. next. next. Next question, next my question. turn. All right, okay, my turn. Time. All right. What does loving someone mean to you? Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> I think we love this. No, it's her turn. Her no. turn. Oh. So shut up. Loving someone means to me because for me, it means unconditional love. Loving them no matter what, like literally anything. But like, what if they're in shit? I'm gonna love you, good I? With me, yes. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, you got to go. It, it, it depends on Josh, if, if they be. if they really do have <laughs> life goals Join and at that moment you they, got to no. go. See what the difference is. If they're really down and out in that moment, yes, I would still love you because I know you, you see I see your potential. That's the problem. That's the problem with relationships now. People are seeing people's potential, but they're not seeing them for who they really are. No, if it, if Say it, it, no, 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 it, no, 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 no,
Let's say he rides a short school bus. Hold on. This motherfucker can't get the Okay, but is he work is he actually oh, going out there and actually trying to become something? Okay, but how hard you try? <laughs> no. Because no, you, 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 you can try. No. Okay, not a short school bus. Obviously if you're slow in no, you can't say that. <laughs> my, well, my bad, my bad. But she uh, my bad. <laughs> so she gonna tell but it like it is. Let's say, let's say let's say you really like out there hustling, working hard, and nothing is show for it. And right say now. your poor ladies ain't hidden. The poor ladies that you actually you better than the But you actually hidden. have goals that Cut you're actually out. going for. Cut it out. Yes, I'll be right there by your side. It's just like how I don't want to. Um, I'm not your dummy. I'm not your. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not your dummy. Not your. Yeah. Dummy, but I'm. I'm a, a, I'm a rider that. I'm not your crutch. Let, let's it's be not, real. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a crutch. If you're right there beside someone who's actually yeah. trying to go out there, trying to hustle yeah. or trying to be somebody, do no, something okay. for themselves, not just for you, be something for your family. Then yes, okay. I'm gonna be right there by your side. I'm okay. not gonna call it quits just because. Pers <coughs> Personally, I forgot the question. Okay, yeah. what does loving someone mean to you? Oh, that's why y'all saying that. Um, I said unconditional love. Personally, if someone that loves is I feel like is agape love, like is unconditional love. Like it don't matter if. You know, like you could start out some type of way, and then like shit. If an accident where like you get you get in a car crash and then you get paralyzed from like the waist down, and shit, and that person love you, they love you. But if they gonna cheat on you, chances are they gonna cheat because they gonna want a motherfucker who can at least stand up for themselves. <laughs> That's not a condition of love. Okay, see, my condition of love obviously ain't the same as freaking him. <laughs> but unconditional love is you love that person. No matter if they paralyzed. No matter if they oh, I don't wanna say stupid, but not fully there. <laughs> but if they if you saw them in the in the very beginning and actually was there for them even from when they're up to when they fall. Cause you can you can love somebody up and then they fall. Next question, motherfucker. No, she has to answer the question. Obviously, she, I mean, she went up. first. I went first. Well, why are you still talking? <laughs> because you over here laughing. She you over here laughing. You talking for the puppy. <laughs> what's what's your uh? What does love loving someone mean to you? <laughs> Shut up. What does loving someone mean to you? <laughs> This. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. I'm waiting for your answer. Oh Everybody's waiting for your answer. Oh my god. What love means to me, mm. like love, mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It sounds. Y'all don't wanna hear my reason because it's so fucked up. What? It's messed up. Because I'm not even gonna lie to you. Just how team Turtles, what's love got to do? Okay. So it's like at the end of the day, like I don't care how much you love me. Like it's, it's <laughs> love. I just love no one is. I pop up like what you say. It's what's love got to do because at the end of the day, like I'm not even gonna lie to you, like Alright, read that question one more time. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, I threw the good love card. Not, love not it for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Love what, that, love that what does no. loving someone mean to you? <laughs> okay, so she uh, got what love got to do with it? That's her answer. Love has nothing to do with it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't care what you are, who you are, what you can do. Are you helping me? What can you do for me? That ain't love. That's not love. It's not, but I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, Love is not in the equation for me, and it sounds fuck like it sounds. But so when, the, when at what point does love enter the equation? Even when it comes to like. Okay, this. I guess when I'm going crazy, when I'm like going through my like, when I'm like on my when I'm PMSing, that's love. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I get real wild when I'm PMSing. Okay. So it's like loving me through my PMS. Let's define love. Like, what is love for you? You know, what is love for you? What is love? Love is. What you talking about? Because I'm not. I just need to know. 
That's my baby back there. Love yeah. for me is yeah, mama. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, and it sounds messed up, and it's not like I'm coming from a messed up place. But it's like you can love somebody, but you can still do them wrong. So it's like that's true. Love is not. I'm not even like like love is not there for like it's. I don't care about. I'm, and it sounds messed up, but uh -huh. love is not. So you don't believe in love? No. Do you love your son? Damn. <laughs> Damn. I gotta go there. Now that's unconditional. Yeah, that's unconditional. So that's love. Exactly. Unconditional love. But then again, I tell him when he's wrong. Like, I'll be like, but hey, that's okay, still but still love. Still him. Yeah. You said that's still love. love yeah. Yeah. So, so love to you is loving somebody in their good and being able to tell somebody when you're wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Being honest with somebody, being yeah. truthful with somebody, so that's love to you. So that's what love so is for me. Love is honesty. So okay. that's what love is for me. Love is honesty. So that was me. So now it's your turn, babe. Okay. It's just your question. Okay. So what question? What was? That? Why are we? That, are we doing deeper. Do you prefer to be dominant or submissive? Oh shit. Yeah. Do you prefer to be dominant or submissive in the bedroom, and why? You got to answer this. I prefer to be dominant. Like I, I was say, if you would have said submissive, I would have slapped the shit out of yeah, you. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Now, now you know, I, I would have slapped the dog shit. Now you. hold on, I can't be submissive in the bedroom. You know, I ain't at that age where I'm just old and freaky. Yeah. So I'm telling you, because what I, I feel like, I feel like old Ooh, and freaky. Oh, you get your hair in the drink. You get your hair in the drink. But look, when, ah. I, when old and freaky kick in, ain't no telling. But. As of as as of right now, Did playing you say, like I mean, what you say? Oh, I mean, I'm just saying like like I I I prefer to be dominant. You know, like I want to understand what's going on. Like you know, don't 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 pop up. Should, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like don't pop up with no surprises and shit. I mean, surprise me, but don't surprise me too much. Sneaky <laughs> peeky. Nah, nigga, nah, we're not doing that. Okay. But that's 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 me moving in my dominance, like. No, nah, I don't wanna I don't I don't I don't want no I don't want her dominating me, chaining me up <laughs> and and pinning me in into some shit I can't get out of. <laughs> I actually <laughs> no. It's kinda the way he talking right now, yes. 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 Yeah, explain yourself. Unpack yes, it. Yes, unpack. I'm gonna unpack it. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to tie you up. Uh huh. You let the bitch tie you up. I'm gonna tie your ass up. <laughs> no, no. Uh -huh. If it's at least you know, not uh -huh. every time. It don't have to be every time. But at least you know, at least <coughs> once. Oh no, I don't know. What are you time. gonna do? Tie him up and beat him? No, not beat him. That damn what you gonna do? Tie him up and what? Have a good time. Mm. A good, good time. time. <laughs> 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 you gonna know, enjoy it too. She Trust me. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. Good time. Have a good time. Oh. 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 Well, uh, next, next question. She, 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 no, no, it's her question. It's her time to answer. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, what was the question again? I'm gonna need a. We need a safe word. The bottom of the bed. The bottom of the No, because girls get on top. That how? No, I feel like bottom. When you say bottom, bottom no. Bottom, bottom means bottom means zest. But no, it means bottom means zest. No, no. When you say bottom, it's like the top or the bottom with zest. Getting getting pounded in. Yeah. Okay, but that's that's top or bottom. Like I like like when when the. Pounding the booty. No. Okay, yeah. Then put a stop on it. I don't wanna. Then you just say the girl get on top. That no, that's still no. not bottom. That's not a bottom. I'm okay. riding it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm. A, I'm. Okay. I'm the. I'm the cow girl. You. The, you the cow. Yeah. Okay. Like, so, cow, so let's say cow girl then. You wanna be cow girl? No, but the bottom is basically like. But I mean, but look, some men like that. Some men like being dominated. Yeah. I like. And that ain't my man. Like but I feel like that ain't my man. No, I'm so, thank, you, thank you. Wait, thank you. Bottom me, girl, on top. Thank you. Oh, hold on, hold but on, no, hold that's on. different. I feel like that's a different yeah. thing because it's like, okay, like, let's just really get deep because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm okay. very in touch with my sexuality. Uh -huh. yeah. Bottom and top is for men only. Bottom, bottom and top. top. Okay. That's like a men thing. Okay. Like, who's the bottom, who's the top? 
Okay. That's a men thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, we can ride. Like, y'all both take turns. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you riding it and he'd be like, okay, turn around. I'm about to hit this shit from the back and go to pound town. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's diff- that's that's totally different. But okay. top and bottom, that's the that's the own category. Okay. 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 But so, riding it, okay. that's I get what you're saying. That's that's a whole different era. That's okay. female. Okay. Like, so okay. so t- yeah, riding is definitely women. Top yeah. meaning a top is a man. Who oh, does gifts. who does the fucking yeah? Who right? only gives? Oh no, who only who's the giver, not the receiver. And so you have the, to say the LGBC and the Q. LGBTQIA plus two. Don't do that. Q, that is no, what he, is he today. Worked with them, yeah. The Department of Public Health it is a of Los Angeles mm-hmm. is the LGBTQIA plus yeah. um, community. Um, the definition of top is 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 between like two men. The top is the man who gives. A bottom is the man who receives. receives. So if I'm yeah. a bottom, yeah. then my booty hole is available. Thank you. If I'm a top, then my booty hole ain't available. I'm here to give dick. That I'm part. here slanging dick. That's it. That part. And don't ask me to bend over because I don't. I'm a top, that not part. a bottom. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's move forward. Yes. Let's move forward. So that's whose that. question was that? Um, I don't know who the fuck, but I'm asking. Oh, Dominic. That was it. All right, your turn. So my turn. Okay. That was it. Don't put it on the. Oh, okay. Because I ain't picking it back up. Well, they got it because that's deep on the floor he's playing with. Oh, okay. okay. Do you consider yourself emotion more emotional or logical? Why? Hmm. Okay, so because I'm a female, I'm both. I can't honestly say that I'm one sided because I'm a female. Mm-hmm. So it's like any female that says she's one sided, honestly, I don't believe you. Because one, as females, we're super emotional, very. And, um, especially when it comes to, like, close to, like, me, that time of the month, I'm very emotional. So, like, my emotions are, like, past him. They're, like, past him. So, it's my emotions. And then, Thank you, Papa. logical is when I'm, like, not PMSing. And I'm very logic. Like, I'm, like, does that even make sense to you? Mm-mm. Like, be for real. Like, does this add up? Does like one plus one equal two to you? Mm-hmm. Like, if I told you, like, prime example, like with my with my son, with like logic, I tell him all the time, I'm like, cars be logical. We're in the car, and I'll be like, are you able to play your game in the car, or are you to play your game at dinner? Play your game in the car. I tell him all the time, like, you're able to play your game in the car versus playing your game while you're sitting down out eating. That's just logic. Or like, if I tell him, hey, go do your homework, he won't turn on the light on sometime. I'd be like, logic will tell you I'm about to do my homework. I need the light to do my homework, so turn the light on. I'm more of a logical person, honestly. Please, like, I'm just like, I constantly say this to people, be for real. Okay, so you're more logical than emotional. Yeah, I'd be like, be fucking for real. Okay. Be for real. Next okay. person. So, I'm, I feel like I'm... I'm kind of both sometimes, but I'm more Here's emotional. Because, like, when it comes to my kids, of course, I'm logical. Okay, Always. Break. Okay. She broke the seal. <laughs> you know I, mean? I told you. I'm, but you. I'm more... <laughs> <laughs> I'm more emotional sometimes, but I feel like when it comes to my kids, I'm a lot more logical. But it's like, I'm, I... I don't know, it's just sometimes my logic, sometimes I have to wonder for certain things. I feel like, what's wrong? Z, because then he gonna just rebel with crying or voice his emotions because he's more. I didn't drink out of it. Babies are more emotional, and I feel like it teaches me a lot about humans. Humans start out emotional, they not they don't have logic, right? Babies and and babies don't have logic they're not born with logic they're born with pure emotion and they move off of emotion and i feel like it's 100 percent natural for everyone men and women to move you know to, to embrace their emotions and i don't think it's healthy for men to turn off their emotions and be this masculine hyper logical robot um, with that being said, with that being said, I do feel like logic is important. 
I feel like logic is mathematical or calculated thoughts. I feel like y'all yeah. whispering in my sermon. No, I was oh, trying to find my phone. You trying to find my phone? I'm sorry. Oh, I put it on the charger. And, uh, That's what I was asking. Uh, you put my phone on the charger. <coughs> that was super it. Perfect. That was it. Yep. And super so I put it, perfect. I put it on so the perfect. So we are I'm done interrupting your sermon. Is that mine or yours? Sir Caleb. So I just feel like logic yeah, is calculated. Um, calculated thoughts, calculated movements. Um, and I feel like it's important to use logic because logic is, 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 logic is true. You know, like if I do X, then Y, you know, like so reaction and yeah. action and reaction. Absolutely. Like if I slap this person, then I can possibly go to jail. Or if I charm this person, then the chances of them liking me is X. So, um, lo that's logic, you know, using mathematics Go to, ahead. to move through life. Um, and that's that emotion is more so, I don't care what the outcome is. This is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. And this is what's going to happen mm -hmm. because this is just what the fuck it is. That's emotion. So, ahead, with that being said, um, what's the question? I, no, with all that being said, what's the question? I, Where am I, I going? I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to move on to the next question because yeah. we kind of lost track. Next question. So, you asked the question, right? I expected you like about your partner does emo. <coughs> It's either you emotional or um, um, spiritual. Logical, or logical. logical and okay. emotion. So, all right. Got so, you already answered the question. So, Next my question, turn. Yeah. What do you consider cheating? I feel like if you're mm -hmm. talking to someone else, mm -hmm. like on an emotional level, not mm -hmm. just physical, because physical can, is obvious, but emotionally, talking to the person and you don't tell your spouse about that person. You're cheating because your spouse should know everything about your life. Because, like you say, you go out to work, yeah. you come back home, let them it's mine, right? Sorry, you come back home and let them know everything. This video gotta happens. come to an end at some point. Yes. Why are y'all still passing cards out? It could be an hour long, no matter, but you can go yeah. out to work, come back home, you gotta tell your partner every you know, everything that happened, you know, in your day because they're gonna ask, How was your day? Yeah. Like, hey, I met this person. That's me. Hey, you know, this person really cool. We should hang out with, we should hang out with this person, not just you, mm -hmm. if it's her. another fucking female. No. Or you should let this this female know, I'm in a relationship. If you, that's a one flag. If your partner does not tell that person you in a relationship, yeah, they're cheating. <gasps> I use a Off the bat. I use a What's your take? My is like if so my definition of cheating is like cheating could be many different ways like you you befriending somebody like you 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 now you now got this new male friend that you're talking with and and y'all just friends and he's you know that's cheap um like this guy like I don't I don't first off I don't believe. I don't believe in like. Trash. I don't believe in like my shorty this up. having like male friends. Like I just feel like if these weren't your your day one friends that was your day one, and you then, can't bring them around, your then don't pop up. You know, then don't don't try to be like, yo, this he's just a friend or so he's my homie. Yeah. Can I have female friends? Nah. Like mm -hmm. why why would I? You know, because I fuck them all. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I just can't do that. That's cheating. You know, like that's just see. I know where they're headed. All right, at. next. Okay. The fuck you need next? Because we have thirty seconds. We have uh, thirty seconds. <laughs> your turn. No, your turn. Go ahead. Nigga, y'all just oh. both. Your turn. For... I asked the question. Up? I did not. No. Why? We wrapping this shit up. All right, one question each. Cheating is talking. To another female in general. Oh, I don't get. Don't open the door for that bitch. <laughs> no. You better open the door for her. I don't care if you is being like like shivery. Mm -hmm. 
This that she dead. Mm -hmm. And it been dead. Like, where's her man? Her man should open the door for her. <laughs> Not her man. Not her. Don't open the door for nobody. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to nobody. Don't look at nobody. Don't look at nobody. You don't to smile me. at nobody. That exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I like, I don't even want to. Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> that's what cheating is. Cheating is when you sit here and you, like, oh, I'm I. But it's mainly more a conversation. A bitch, I know nobody. It's more, pedal, it's more a conversation. A but for. it starts with shivery. Yes. Be it does. Nice. Don't open Be the nice. door. Exactly. Don't do nothing. Let that bitch open her own door. I don't give a damn if you is right there. Exactly. Fuck, fuck her. Exactly. That's how y'all feel? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. <coughs> Where the fuck was her man to pick up her water bottles? Where was her man to open the door for her? Oh, he was at home playing the game? You should be too. Don't worry about worry about your own door. Don't worry about her door. Worry about your own door. Okay. Well, I'm about to get some more juice. God, that concludes really this motherfucking definitely. shenanigans Baby. with these motherfuckers. Did you know? You know you were uh, cup knocked over. Oh, we got to refill it. cup knocked Why over, so I had to refill it. She got a new cup. Nobody coming for you. Why it's just the it's just the wait. What god damn? What the fuck is a cranberry? It's all cranberry. Not oh. all cranberry, but half. Nigga, that's all to you. Thank you for tuning that's in. It. Damn. You want more cranberry? God damn. Mess. Sip, sip. I'm out of here. This is. Fuck that. Is it sip and play? Sip and play. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this game that we just played. Finally. Get deep. We done? We done got deep, deeper, deep. We done dug to the center of the earth. <laughs> we done dug. All right. So. We yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like this video. And see you guys later. Bye. Throwing tomatoes. <laughs> Throwing tomatoes. Throwing tomatoes. I'm just saying. Bye.